Uh, it's an absolute pleasure to join you today to mark uh, what is truly an exciting moment for healthcare uh, in Nigeria, the opening of the Evercare Hospital. And this is not just because of the several groundbreaking innovations that come in the package, and we've heard uh, quite a bit of this already, but perhaps even more what this portends for the future of medical care and support in Nigeria and indeed in Sub-Saharan Africa. The business case for more top quality medical care in Nigeria had always seemed quite obvious. But I think the fact that the Evercare Health Fund, a $1 billion emerging markets healthcare fund, as we've heard, that they've chosen to invest in healthcare in Nigeria clearly confirms, even to the greater skeptics, that we're seeing the birth of what may well be one of the fastest growth areas in a resurgent Nigerian economy. Second, it has become popular wisdom for a while that we must reverse the trend of outbound medical tourism and begin to attract not just medical tourists from our neighbors in the region, but also become the place of choice for even developed country medical tourists looking to jump uh, long queues for specialized procedures at home, or simply shopping for cheaper fees for first-class healthcare. But we also knew that without the interest of international private medical practices to deepen the Nigerian healthcare system, this dream may remain just that, a dream. Third, we have by far the largest number of middle to low-income communities and individuals, at least in sub-Saharan Africa, who require and can afford high-quality healthcare. Fourth is that existing top-quality hospitals in Nigeria today can do with some strong and healthy competition. And the fifth is that we've talked a great deal about beginning to reverse the drain of medical personnel trained in Nigeria who are engaged in hospitals abroad. Of course, the reasons for voting with their feet are obvious. Uh, better pay, better facilities, etc. But again, only serious private sector investment in high quality healthcare services, offering top uh, compensation for its personnel, could possibly create an attractive proposition to reverse uh, the trend. So today we are witnessing the convergence of many dreams and desires, with the unveiling today of this first of its kind purpose-built, 165-bed, state-of-the-art international private hospital. That, and this is also a facility that offers a wide range of specialty medical and surgical services. I'm particularly pleased to note that in addition to its local world-class personnel, the hospital will leverage technology to consult with international specialists across the 29 hospitals and 16 clinics that are currently in its portfolio. Without doubt, this is the way of the future, and I think uh, His Excellency the Governor alluded to it, that uh, telemedicine is certainly where we must be and we will be, uh, in, in, and, and now perhaps only in the coming uh, weeks and months. We are certainly set for exci exciting times in the Nigerian healthcare story, and we must commend the management of the Evercare Hospitals Group for the excellent quality of this facility and the wide range of services on offer and appreciate you again for believing in our nation. Congratulations. But before I end these remarks, please permit me to digress for a moment to commend you, Mr. Governor, and your team on your handling of the COVID-19 pandemic so far. Thanks for showing the world what strong, knowledgeable leadership can deliver, even in the wake of an unprecedented global health crisis. Very, very well done. It is therefore with great pleasure uh, that I have the privilege of officially commissioning uh, the Evercare Hospital Lekki. Thank you and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. God bless you all.